This is Patrick, the pink, dumb starfish and SpongeBob's best friend. By far, Patrick Starr is the dumbest character on SpongeBob, right? What if I told you that all these years that Patrick is secretly the most intelligent person in Bikini Bottom? This is the secret genius theory. Let's take it back to season two, episode 28, Secret Box. This episode really made me realize the true hidden intelligence of Patrick and his manipulative ways. In the episode, he gets SpongeBob addicted to knowing the secret of his secret box. SpongeBob begins telling Patrick all of his secrets in hopes of Patrick revealing the mystery of the box. But instead, Patrick says this very line. Now will you show me what's inside your secret box? No, SpongeBob. It's for me to know and for you to never find out. You may be an open book, SpongeBob, but I'm a bit more complicated than that. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. How could such an ignorant person use such huge words? Unless they aren't. Later in the episode, SpongeBob's addiction gets the best of him, and he invades Patrick home. He eventually gets caught and Patrick seems angry, but eventually let him see the content of the box. And SpongeBob realizes it was just a silly string the entire time, but it wasn't. SpongeBob leaves and goes home and we see the true diabolical side of Patrick. Good thing he didn't pull the secret string opening the secret compartment of my secret box, revealing one embarrassing snapshot of SpongeBob at the Christmas party! But this isn't the only time we get an example of this in the show. In season 11, episode 35, Library Cards, we get a scene where it shows that Patrick is illiterate and can't comprehend words. Now read the words, Patrick. Oh, read the... Oh, uh, once upon a... Uh, once upon a... But wait. Check out this scene of season 7, episode 34, titled SpongeBob's Last Stand. Jellyfish, that's a big sign. It says... Future side of the Shelley Superhighway. How is Patrick able to read the sign if he is supposedly an idiot? Then, in an instant, everything struck me all at once. There is a dark reason why Patrick acts uneducated, and I'm going to reveal the most diabolical scam in the whole bikini bottom. It is no secret that SpongeBob has been trying to receive his driver's license all of his life and failing every time. Check out this scene from season four, episode 77, where Patrick gets his license and SpongeBob doesn't. Hi, Bobby! Hi, Daddy! Patrick, how many times do we have to tell you we're SpongeBob's mom and dad, not yours? What? I'm an orphan? Oh, but guess what? I passed my driver's test! That's great, Patrick. SpongeBob failed his test, so don't mention it. Well, we know how to stay clear of that minefield. Mom! Well, I've got to take Mr. Walks a lot back home. Wait, did you hear him? Hi, Bobby! Hi, Daddy! Patrick knows they're not his parents. And this is not the first time he's done something like this. In season two, episode 37, I'm with stupid two starfish visits, Patrick supposedly being his parents. But they aren't. How could Patrick not know his own parents? Trust me, he does know that they aren't his parents and acts mentally disabled as a money scheme on everyone in Bikini Bottom. Hear me out, just think about it. Why doesn't Patrick get a job? He is so lazy that he acts mental to get sympathy and free things from everyone in Bikini Bottom, including SpongeBob. Patrick has literally manipulated the entire Bikini Bottom residence into loving him unconditionally. Don't believe me. Take a look at this clip. Astounding! <laughs> Why the fuck would a grown fish have another man tattooed on his chest? 
Patrick literally has Bikini Bottom as his playground and is more evil and sophisticated than we would ever know. I just want to say, first of all, thank you guys for 100 views on my alien theory. SpongeBob was definitely one of my favorite shows growing up, and investigating these theories with you guys is a pleasure. Don't forget to like and subscribe until next time.